My name is Evan with uh, www.itsanecessity.net. We're here to uh, give some tutorials on, on the new splash drone made by Swell Pro. Uh, we've been lucky enough to get one down here in the Virgin Islands and my biggest goal with this, we're going to do at least three videos, this will be part one, is I want you to get out there and fly as fast as possible because they're not that complicated and I think we all think they are. So we're going to go through a few of the basics and once we've done that we're going to go through some more of the, the more intriguing stuff like the how it connects to the apps and so on. I think the biggest thing to start with is the, uh, the remote here. It looks very scary. It's not. And in fact, to fly the drone, to start off, you only need to use four buttons. Um, we've got the this one we're not going to use to start, so really we're only going to use these two and then the two toggles. Now the first one, we'll start with this, it's called Switch B and your manual will be SWB. It's very simple, it's got two modes. It's got flight mode and return home mode. When you're, when you're up, you're gonna be in control of the thing. When you hit the return, mode, return home mode, it's going to cause the drone to act on its own. The Switch C, SWC, has got three modes as well. Top mode is GPS mode. That means that the drone will hold a GPS location and its altitude as long as everything's going well. Um, if the wind's too high, that could be a problem, so don't fly this thing anything over 25, uh, 25 knots, I believe. <laughs> Maybe 25 miles an hour, but GPS mode, that's going to hold the drone in one steady spot. I'll show you that in a second. When you click it down to the second position, that's circular mode. That means you want to pick a target and then you want your drone to do a circle around it so that you can get a nice uh, a nice aerial shot and it's all kind of automated. Bottom mode is called ATTI which I'm a little confused by this but ATTI stands for attitude but it has more to do with altitude. I guess you could say that when you click it to that your drone gets a bit of attitude so you have to be in more control but this is basically a full manual mode where the drone is going to do the only thing it's going to do on its own is maintain an altitude. So whenever you click it down there, the drone will stay at, say, 20 meters above ground, but it's going to let the wind take it where it wants to take it. So you have to be in, in control for that entire process. So obviously to start, we want to use GPS mode. That's going to be the key for, for beginners. We want it to be up in the, in the first position for B, just for regular flight. And then your toggles. We'll go through these in a bit more detail, but it's going to be simple. It's going to be up, down for elevation and then rotation. There's also the other terminology of yaw and all that stuff. I'm just trying to keep it simple so that you can get out and fly sooner than later. So up for elevation, down for elevation. Left is going to rotate it counterclockwise. Right is going to rotate it clockwise. That's that one. This one, very simple. If you picture your drone with a nose, obviously it's symmetrical, so it's kind of hard to tell, but it's the way the video camera's pointing, or it's also where the two stripes are on the drone. If you go this way, it's going to fly that way. It's going to fly straight, as though this is forward. If you go this way, it's going to fly backwards. If you go left, it's going to fly completely left. And if you go right, it's going to fly completely right. Now you got to keep in mind that as you change your rotation, then your up, your forward, backwards, left and right are going to change as well. So it's always important to try and understand which way your drone is flying. And then from there, you can just practice, makes perfect, you get used to it. When you're fearful, you return it home if something's going wrong. I had that happen the other day. I got too far away and I can no longer tell what the drone was doing. So I used my return home function. I waited for a bit. When it got closer to me, I clicked back into, into user mode and, and took over again. All right, so we'll go from there and we'll do a couple uh, basic, basic uh, aerial trainings. Um, we just talked about the basics of the buttons. Now I'm going to show you a little bit how it works. So got the drone out there. One thing that I'd recommend is when you are flying the drone for the first time, especially position it so that forward is the way you're looking. It's just what's intuitive to us, and so it's gonna help you in your first flight. We'll launch it, we'll send it out, we'll show you circular mode, and then we'll do the return home, and you'll see how that works. So, you power your drone on, you're gonna have to have done the, the GPS ca calibration if once you've received it for the first time. Everything else comes calibrated, but the GPS, once it travels 100 kilometers, you gotta do that. Um, I can do a side note if somebody needs that, but it's very well described in the manual. Um, so to, to unlock the motors, we bring the two toggles, in, the two joysticks into the center. And you'll see out there, the drone has now turned on. 
When we land the drone, you have two options. To lock the motors, which is the most important thing, especially if there's an issue. Um, if you crash it or something, you want to lock them right away. That's both to the outside. You can see over there that the motors have stopped. Um, so if there's ever a problem, you want to do that. Otherwise, let's fire it up. We got the drone started by holding them down for a few seconds. And then we're going to go ahead make, oh, I also didn't mention, but make sure that your two, two top, or the two switches, B and C, are at their top state, position one and then everything's good. Now, if your GPS is off and this is in GPS mode, it won't allow you to unlock the motor. So that's a good way to know if you've calibrated properly. All right, so now when we want to take off, I suggest everything, especially at the beginning, nice and slow, don't go wild. Just push up on that, up on that left toggle and off she goes, you see? Super simple. You can tell the drone is leaning a bit forward to, because uh, we're in GPS mode, it can tell there's wind and it's trying to hold that position. When in doubt, if you let go, your drone just floats. There's nothing else you need to do. You can take a second, regroup, and then off you go. So that was forward. Now, if we want to rotate, we, go, we do this, and the drone rotates in a circle counterclockwise. If we want to rotate clockwise, we go to the right, and it will rotate clockwise, meanwhile holding its GPS location. I'm going to position it so it's forward again, so it's easy for me to remember and understand. And I'm going to show you the next four buttons. Forward right now is forward. I can see my camera. I can see the gold. I can see the two white stripes. The two white stripes, the reflective stripes, is the front of the drone. So now if I go forward, the drone is going to proceed forward. And when I let go, it's going to counter it. See, it comes back a little bit. And that's because it wants to stop it on that GPS location. You can see there it dropped a little bit of elevation. It's returning. Now I want to bring it back. So I come back the same way. I don't want to hit my, my wife, so I'm going to <laughs> come up to the side a little bit and then come back some more and stop it right there. Again, same thing. It counters it, finds that GPS location. We want to go up higher, left toggle, come down lower, down. My thumb's a little shaky. Sorry, when you get better, you'll be smoother. <laughs> just got a little gust, fixed itself. Now, let's go forward again just so we don't hit my wife, Geneviève. We're going to stop there. And we're just going to look at left and right. So we go left and the drone floats left. We go right and the drone floats right. Very simple, very easy. You can do it that way or you can use your rotation and go forward with your rotation. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to bring it back. Now, say we wanted to get a picture of my wife in circle mode. So we would come over. We'll just go right about there. Say she was standing right under that. That then becomes our target. Wherever the, G, wherever the G drone is sitting, that is the target. When I click my C switch down to the center mode, it is now in circle mode. It's picked that target. I can either go backwards from it or forwards. That's going to pick my radius. Um, in this case, I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to come out, you know, just 10 feet or so. And now it's picked the radius. It still knows where its target is. And if I choose left or right, it's going to go clockwise or counterclockwise and start its circular mode. So I'm going to go left. We got a clockwise, actually, in this scenario. Well, because it was backwards. And it's doing a nice rotation around a specific point. This should also help with speed the, faster, the farther you push it. Um, but it doesn't have a really high speed doesn't have a really high speed when do doing the circular function. You can also adjust your elevation at the same time. If you wanted to go up, you could bring it, you know, you could bring it in closer to the closer to the point, anything you need to do. It's got a little windy. So still going, do as many rotations. When you're done with the circle flight, you can just click it upwards, back to GPS mode, and there you go. Now we're back in control, bringing it back over. Gonna going to fix the rotation so I can see what I'm doing because it's getting a little windy out here. Get it back to where it's in front of me. Nice and easy. All right, anyway, now say, for example, we've been flying, 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 circle mode. we got way out of reach. can't remember which way the drone is facing. I can always click down to return home. Now, depending on the parameters, you can check the manual for this as well. But the parameters are going to indicate what it does. So at this point, if the easy way to think about it is if this was far away from me, then it's going to go up to 20 meters before it comes back to that original point that I took it off from just to try and keep obstacles out of the way. 
If it's really close, it's gonna fly straight back to it, but then it's gonna start its own um, landing. I don't ever like letting the drone land itself. It is fully capable, but when I get close to the ground, I'm gonna take over again, and I'm just gonna bring it down nice and easy, nice and easy. And once it hits the ground, you wanna hold it there. It will either stop that way, or after five seconds, see the motors have stopped, or you had the option to bring it down like this and stop it like that. So that's your basic flight. It's really not that hard. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to comment on it down below, but we're gonna go through a few more things, a bit, bit more advanced, but for now, that's how you get going. You should be able to do that the first day you get it. Have lots of fun. All right.